I am back at the airport here in Labuan because today I'm flying to Kota Kinabalu, which is the capital of the Sabah state here in East Malaysia. But I am also going to actually leave Malaysia very, very soon. I'm going to talk about it in more detail later in the video. First of all, let's catch the flight and let's get some first impressions of Kota Kinabalu. All right, only a few flights here the whole day. And my flight is in about one hour, flying with Malaysia Airlines again. And uh, it might be, once again, the shortest flight of my life. If you remember the previous video, flying to this island was my shortest, fl shortest flight with just 30 minutes. And today I think it can be even a little bit shorter, maybe. Hello. Here? Ah, I'm flying to Kota Kinabalu. Oh, I love small airports. No waiting lines, no queues. You can arrive just an hour before departure. Easy going. <laughs> okay, bye bye. <laughs> All right, um, by the way, Sabah, the state where I'm flying to now, is the only state in Malaysia where I have never been to before. So after visiting Sabah, I can officially say that I have been to every state in Malaysia. Hello. Hello. Thank you, sir. Fight, sir. Oh, thank you. Ah, it is the exact same plane as uh, the one that I had when I came to this island. All right, and it is very loud once again. I don't know why these small planes are super loud. Way louder than the big ones, at least that's my impression. Hello, thank you. Yeah, it is the exact same plane. And uh, yeah, I'm sitting in the first row once again, but this time on this side and not on this side. I can't almost uh, stand tall here. I'm one meter ninety tall. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, one F. That's my seat here. All right, yeah, it's going to be another very short flight. And the flight to get here was 30 minutes and that was the shortest flight of my life and today might be even a little bit shorter. In preparation for the takeoff, please ensure your seat belts will be fastened, seat is in the upright position, table is stood, and your window sheets are drawn up. Please switch off all the electronic devices to prevent any... All right, we do have a new record. This flight was 28 minutes and therefore two minutes shorter than the previous flight and now officially the shortest flight of my life. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now, the big moment, I'm going to touch the ground here, exactly now. And that means now I have officially been to every state in Malaysia. Wow, that's a great feeling. I'm actually very proud of this. I think not many people can say that they have been to every state in Malaysia, to every federal territory, especially not many foreigners. All right, and now I have to go through immigration because Sabah has its own immigration, so they're going to check my passport, I get a new stamp and everything. By the way, if you have been to Kota Kinabalu, the city here, if you have any recommendations or any tips, let me know in the comment section. I'm always happy to get your tips, get your recommendations. All right, and we have arrivals here. So, the immigration process. My passport is ready. Let's get a new stamp. All right, and I am officially in. I actually wanted to see a flight ticket out of Saba again, which I already have, so that was not a problem. And yeah, new stamp in my passport, a Saba stamp. And my bag is here. All right, everything smooth today. All right, I don't have to get a taxi now because I'm going to get picked up by uh, Robert, who is not only a subscriber of the channel, but also a channel member. So I'm very excited to meet him. And yeah, he's living here in Kota Kinabalu and he offered to uh, pick me up. <laughs> All right, so I have never met him in my life. I uh, don't really know how he looks like. Only saw his uh, picture on Instagram. Hello. So uh, let's see if I can uh, find him. Oh, there's live music here at the airport. That is cool. I never saw that at an airport. You arrive here and then there's live music. Oh, I like this town already. Oh, I think that's him. Oh, hello. Hi, can, can we... Ah, you uh, watch my videos? Yes. Ah, <laughs> hello. One, two, three. Go. Okay, thank What's you. What's your name? Sharul. Sharul. Oh, yeah. nice to meet you. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, bye-bye. Ah, and Robert. Ah, hello. Ah, hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello, hello. You're so tall. I am tall, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Taller than I look in my videos. <laughs> ah. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Ah. How was the flight? Oh, 28 minutes. Yeah. The shortest short. flight of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Very easy. Yeah, we're actually going to make a little uh, stop at a coffee shop to uh, have a coffee, chat a little bit together. Oh, there's a car coming. So this is your favorite coffee shop? Yeah. Yes? Can I get a hot lemon? You want, you want sugar? No sugar. Uh, no sugar. Oh, even the, the spoon is very hot. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, starting to get my new favorite drink in Malaysia. Yeah, I just usually drink this. You usually drink yeah, it, yeah. yeah. Because it's very healthy. It's healthy, it's just yeah. a hot lemon. Yeah, even without sugar. Without sugar, yes. Mm, the delicious pork inside here. Mm. Oh, very nice. Okay, thank okay, you very much. Right. Thanks for, for picking me up at the airport sure, no and problem. explaining everything. Okay, terima <laughs> kasih. Okay, I text you. All right. Okay, bye bye. All right, uh, always nice to meet uh, subscribers of the channel, and in this case, uh, even a channel member. Very nice guy. And uh, hello. And now uh, let me check into my hotel. And I have checked into my hotel room and I am once again very happy with the choice of my hotel room. And yeah, before we now head out to explore this interesting town, I would like to say thank you to Surfshark VPN for continuing to support my channel. And if you don't know what's a VPN, it stands for Virtual Private Network and it can encrypt the data that is sent between your phone or computer and the internet. By using a VPN, your data and your personal information are safer and nobody can steal them, which is especially important when you are using a of public Wi-Fi's or hotel Wi-Fi's like I do when I'm traveling. So no matter where I am going, I always feel way more secure about my data and my personal information when I'm connected to a VPN. And it can be used for more than just security. With just one click, you can virtually change the location of your phone or laptop and unlock content that is geo-restricted and not available in your country. Watching German football highlights, for example, is only possible for me when I'm connected to a German VPN because the content is not available to watch here in Malaysia. Netflix is another great example. Just virtually change your location with a VPN and you have access to totally different Netflix content libraries like the US or the UK version of Netflix. And yeah, I am using Surfshark VPN and I can highly recommend it. It is the only VPN to offer one account for unlimited devices. And if you click the link in my description and use the promo code CAN, you can get 83% off plus three extra months for free and they also have a 30 day money back guarantee so you can test it out without any risk. Click the link down below. Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video and now let's explore this interesting town. All right, let's explore the city. Uh, Robert gave me some spots, some recommendation of places that uh, are worth seeing. And the first place I would like to check out and show you is the riverfront here, which is supposed to be quite beautiful. And the first thing I see here is a beer garden. What is this? Germany? A Deutscher beer garden? A German beer garden? <laughs> no, but I just want to get through here to uh, go to the river. There's a super strong uh, fish smell in the air. I guess there will also be a few uh, seafood restaurants here. Ah, and here we are. But we have some, uh, some fishing boats here. I think this is an island over there, are actually several islands. Maybe uh, in one of the next video, I, one of the next videos, I would like to check out the island over there as well. And yeah, let's have a walk around here. I heard there's a little market over there. Let's see what we can find. One? Oh, I don't need sunglasses. No, thank you, thank you. Try, no problem. I don't need, I have many of them. Rolex? No, thank you. Oh. Have a good day, bye-bye. Oh, oh, people selling uh, sunglasses here and fake watches. That uh, feels like uh, I'm in a tourist place in Thailand or something. But there's actually a market that I would like to check out. As far as I know, it's called the Filipino market because there are many Filipinos living here. Let's have a look around. Have a look at this tiny little pineapples here. 
Oh. Usually these uh, very tiny pineapples are very sweet and delicious. I think six ringgit. But you can cut? Yeah. Cut? Six, yeah. Six ringgit? Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's get a fresh pineapple here. Yeah. It's not a very small one. But let's see how sweet it's gonna be. Do you have a little uh, stick? Ah, ah yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was what I was looking for. Ah, perfect. Ah, okay. Terima kasih. Thank you. I'm actually very excited. Let me try one right away. There's a fresh pineapple here. It looks very delicious. Mm. Oh, very good. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, very sweet. Mm. Oh, I love it. Okay, so Okay, big bag, a huge pineapple for six ringgit. Mm. Okay, let's continue walking around here. This looks interesting, it looks like a pancake here. Is it like a pancake? But is it sweet? Okay, uh, butter pudding it. Are you doing it? Okay. Okay. Not really an idea what it is, but it looks like a pancake. And it's gonna be sweet. Oh, I get a lot. Three wing it. Oh, three wing it. Oh, I don't know how many pieces there were, but it looks uh, looked like a lot. Three makasi. Oh, this all looks delicious. Thank you very much. Okay. And let me try it right away. First, I got a huge bag of pineapples. And now I'm having a huge bag of what looks like pancakes. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces of pancakes. Looks like this, so it really looks like a pancake, right? And it smells like peanut, I think. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a peanut. So this is where the peanut smell is coming from. Reminds me of like, you know when you put peanut butter on a pancake? Tastes very similar, but there's no peanut butter on here. It's like real pieces of, of peanuts. Mm. But it's very delicious. Okay, as usual when I am on market, uh, my stomach doesn't remain empty for, for a long time. Five minutes on the market and I have two huge bags with pancakes and pineapples. Very delicious. And we have meat here. Hello. What is this? Apa ini? Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Yeah, barbecue chicken wings. Yeah, yeah, mau apa? Is this a chicken butt? Yeah, they have. We made oh. the chicken, the butt. I tried that a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so you like it? Uh, it, it was okay. The breast, oh, yeah? Just chicken breast? Yeah, only the breast. That sounds good. Can I get just one to try? One stick. Yeah. How much is one stick? One wing it, okay. Let's get a piece of one-winged uh, chicken here. I can't say no to a chicken. It smells so good here, so... It smells really good here. <laughs> That's the best marketing, right? Just uh, having a stall that smells amazing. So you want spicy or just regular? Uh, just regular. Just regular. Uh, no... Kidak panas. Only one one-winged only. Make it hot again. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so... I'm mixing uh, the food up here quite a lot, right? Fruits, pancake, chicken. Oh, very good. Mm, thank you very much. Oh. Oh, wow. Delicious chicken. Hello, hello. Can you see it? The whole area here is covered in smoke because of all the delicious uh, pieces of chicken that are on the grills here. Hello, hello. <laughs> wow, this market uh, really goes on and on here. Although I think I'm on the back side of some markets here now. Actually, I think uh, I can go in here. This is a huge market here. Hello. Oh, this t-shirt is cool. Headhunter Saba Borneo. Oh, it really feels a little bit like this is a very touristy place. 
I didn't expect uh, Kota Kinabalu in Sabah, East Malaysia to be such a touristy place. I mean, this clearly looks like a, like a shop for tourists, right? Like similar like uh, Phuket in Thailand, for example. And we have some, uh, some kittens in a cage here. Oh, hello. Who put you in a cage here? Huh. Hello, your cats? Yeah? <laughs> Wondering why they uh, put the cats in the cage here. So the market is way bigger than I was expecting. Basically the whole riverfront here for a few hundred meters. There's a huge market right next to the riverfront. I did not really expect that and I think there's another market section right here. Hello. Hello. Where are you I'm from Germany. Oh. <laughs> Just me. Just me. Hmm? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> bole, bole. Are you from here? No, actually from Penang. From Penang? Yeah, oh. I came here for a okay. trip. Ah. What's your name? Uh, Joshua. Uh, Joshua? Joshua. Joshua? Yeah. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. <laughs> so you're also a tourist here? Yes. Oh, okay. Because it's my last day here today. Oh, so okay, I'm okay. going back to Penang already. Oh, okay. 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 To nice to meet you. Okay. okay. Nice okay. Meet you. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, always nice to uh, meet people who watch my videos. If you see me somewhere walking around the streets, uh, don't hesitate to uh, say hello. Check this out. I just told you how impressed I am with the size of the market. And then I walk 50 more meters and there's another huge market here. That is uh, incredible. I think uh, this is a seafood uh, part here. Hello. Are you a fresh seafood here? Yeah. Ah. What is this over there? Oh, I never saw this before. Is it similar like prawn? No, I mean... Yeah, uh, prawn. Similar? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Ah. I'm not hungry now, but maybe uh, maybe later. How long are you open? Uh, 4 p.m. 4 p.m.? Yeah, close 12. Close 12, okay. Thank you very much. Ah, so they do have a fresh seafood section here, which I kind of expected because it's right next to the to the ocean. Ooh, a lot of fresh seafood here. I can imagine that this uh, riverfront here gets very lively on the weekends, on holidays, in the evenings. Maybe some live music even. Hello. Wow. First impressions of uh, Kota Kinabalu. Very nice so far. I like to see busy areas with markets. People are around. Hello. Now oh, we have a dolphin statue here. I wonder if you can actually see dolphins here in the ocean. That would be cool. And check this out. The airport is right next to the city center. So you can see all the planes uh, starting. It's actually crazy that the airport is so close to the city center. I remember when I landed here um, earlier, we were basically flying over the city and I thought, well, this can't be, can't be right. What's wrong now? Because it was literally flying uh, a few hundred meters above the city landing here. Yes, a very beautiful riverfront here. It looks clean here. Many food stalls around. A little bit of music here from the from the guys uh, dressing up as uh, as transformers. You can take pictures with them here. Nice atmosphere here. First impressions are really awesome. Thank you. All right, it is the next day now, and I came to a very popular and famous sunset spot which is called Tanjung Aru. And yeah, the reason why I waited for the next day to come here is because yesterday it was very... Hello. Very cloudy and not the best weather for a sunset, but uh, if I see the weather today, uh, I don't think Hello. it's better. Hello. 
But yeah, let's check out the area here, see if we can maybe see the sun a little bit. Sunset should be in like 15 to 20 minutes. And then also talk about why am I leaving Malaysia very soon. And yeah, yesterday I also got a new haircut as you can maybe see yesterday evening. And yeah, I think there's a little uh, market here. Looks like a, like a night market almost. And many people here, but uh, unfortunately no sun. And Robert also told me earlier that this place was uh, rated from a magazine as one of the top 10 sunset spots in the world. So I was very keen to see that and to show you this place. But I think we are not really lucky today. Yeah, usually uh, the sun should set over there. I saw some pictures from this place, from the sunset here. And the sunset is normally over there. Very lively here, very busy. Alright, I'm trying to walk to, uh, to the end now, see what's over there. And yeah, while I'm walking there, let me explain why am I leaving Malaysia very soon. Um, in about two weeks, uh, I plan to leave Malaysia for the reason that, um, yeah, as I said earlier in this video, I have now officially been to every single state in Malaysia and I feel like it's time for me to uh, go to a new place, go to a new country. I'm very keen to uh, visit a country where I have never been to before, get new impressions, uh, learn about a new country, get to know a new culture, new food. And Malaysia is uh, like completed. I have visited every state, every corner of the country. Of course, there are still places that I haven't visited yet. And every time I leave a state, I get some comments uh, from you guys. Oh, you haven't been here. You missed out this place. You missed out that place. But uh, I can't visit every city and every corner and every state, right? But yeah, I'm also very sure that uh, I will return to Malaysia definitely as it's one of my favorite countries. So this is not the last time that I am in Malaysia. I will definitely come back. But yeah, this is also not my last video from Malaysia. As I said uh, before, I will stay here for around two more weeks. So there will be a few more videos coming from Malaysia. And then speaking about the next country, I would actually like to ask you guys for your help. Um, because I can't decide which country I'm going to next. I have two options in my mind and I will definitely visit both options. I just can't decide uh, the order, which country uh, to go first. Option number one is Indonesia and option number two is the Philippines. So uh, leave your vote in the comment section. Let me know which country would you like to see uh, as the next country here on the channel. So I made it to the end. There's not really a lot to see here and the yeah, sunset would have been nice here, but I can't change the clouds. So yeah, what should I do? And yeah, if you haven't seen the previous video where I explored around the Labu An Island here in East Malaysia, then check out the video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.